Hi everybody, I'm Mandy Simon from Petbugs and Forever Pet Shop. Today I'm doing another video on incubating tarantula egg sacs. So, our first video we uploaded, Tim did the video and it's actually quite fantastic. It's one of our most viewed videos. And the way he did it was perfect. So, but the reason I'm doing a second video is just because um, I want to add some stuff. So the problem is with the videos, that was one we uploaded 3-4 years ago. So it gets lost in all your other videos. Every time you upload a new video, your videos, your latest videos will show first. Okay, so I had the opportunity now because I've got an egg sac that I almost messed up. So I need to make an incubator. Now, I've learned out of my mistakes. I Actually, we used to always do it like this and like the first video you might have seen. But I decided to take an easy way out. <laughs> okay, so for the first three or four egg sacs, it worked quite well. What I did is on the third day or fourth day, I pulled the egg sac and voila, I just turn it by hand every day. Um, until about 30 days and then I open the egg sac and I would have first or second install depending on the species. Okay, so all went well for a while, then I tried it again. Okay, so this egg sac here, I pulled, turned it by hand, I opened it, and it didn't work out quite that well because we got eggs and eggs with legs and a lot of rotten ones in between. Now the reason it didn't work this, this well this time is because it is winter time and the temperatures are lower. So the eggs won't incubate as fast. So now we're sitting with a bunch of eggs and a few eggs of legs and it is almost uh, about 38 days now. So all of them should have been at least eggs with legs or first install. Okay. So because of the colder temperature it didn't work that well and now I've got them all in this tub and as you can see some of them are going rotten because I'm not supposed to do it this way and if my son and I have to do this over and so what I do is I've got this tub here and this little it's actually a frozen yogurt tub then okay, let's first get to my sock I got this lovely sock yes it was amazing I saw it on wish.com and wow I thought yeah this this is gonna be nice and warm for the winter but this isn't the picture they showed so they showed a nice fluffy one, <laughs> but as you can see, it's barely even a sock. But anyway, it's got a use, so it's going to become an incubator now. Okay, so then, a lot of people, what they do is they put the water in here, and then they just put the sock over, or they, you can even take a bandage. As long as the slings can't fall through, like your tiger humps and your dwarf species, I'd rather go with the sock because they are smaller with your pokies you get less eggs in the sack but they're bigger so they won't fall through as easily um, but what I do is I don't do it that way um, I don't just put the water because it keeps the humidity up um, more than what I would want and it attracts sometimes it attracts fruit flies um, like even when it goes a little bit muffed or whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to put vermiculite. You can actually get this on pet bugs or basically um, any pet shop you like. And then I put a little bit of peat in between the mix. You don't even have to, to fill that up. This is something you just measure with your heart. You don't, there's no recipe for it. Okay. So once you've got that, you add your water, again you just want the vermiculite to be wet and drift a bit, but also not too much. Again, measure it by heart. Okay, so next what you want is, I've got this, oh, let me just get, I'm not that well prepared. I've prepared this as well as I've prepared my exams. Okay, so I've got this big plastic tub. You can get it Westpac, Plastilon, wherever. 
Then a lot of people put newspaper in the bottom. I don't use it. Um, newspaper is just trouble. You can't keep it wet because it's going to go soggy and it's going to muff and whatever. And other people choose the toilet paper to put underneath. And the reason for, for the paper around there is you put your sock over and you've got your incubator. The um, spiders might turn first in store or second in store, whatever. Let's go first in store because that's more likely to happen because it becomes four before the second in store. And they climb over doo -doo -doo, and they fall off. So they fall on the, on the tissue paper on the bottom. My problem is some of the spiders, <laughs> I mean, for this might not look that high. But, I mean, if you're a tiny little first star spider and you fall off and you fall on a tissue paper, I mean, the tissue paper will give you some support, but I'd rather not. So what I do is I fill this all around with peat. So if they fall out, they fall straight onto the peat, which for me is a better option than having to worry about it dropping too far down. And again, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I mean, just be prepared in case. Now I do this before I put my, um, my sock on. Simply because, as you can see, I'm messing quite a lot of peat on top of there and around it. And you don't want it on your sock. You just want your sock nice and clean with just the eggs or the first install or whatever on it. You can actually, if you want, push it in so it's firm. Then whenever you take the top out, your, um, your structure remains. Because I am going to take the top out because I need to put the eggs on then I'm not just going to tip it over and throw it on there. Although that does seem like one of my easy ways. <laughs> but no, I don't actually do that. Okay. So, yeah. I'm just going to do this. And again, there's so many different ways of doing things. And everybody just needs to find the one that works for them. And with this one, <laughs> my little cup, I found out it's not the way that works for me. And the same thing can happen when you do a mechanical mom. Mechanical mom, I've never built it myself. Um, you just, it's a machine you build that turns the egg sac for you. The problem I have as well is if you, if you cut the egg sac open too late and there were rotten eggs in there, or let's say two rotten eggs, it might rot your whole egg sac and you will have nothing. Whereas when you cut it open sooner, you can take out all your rotten eggs and all, all the infertile eggs. And so you will have only the fertile ones in there and some of them still might turn infertile or rotten or whatever but at least um, the ratio will be much less okay yes, okay so anyway this is it so now you want to put your little sock on oh and as you can see my shape is well in there quite firm I'm very proud of it Probably the best thing I have accomplished in my life. Okay. So now you just put your sock or whatever you chose on there. The other problem I find I find with the with the socks or stockings or whatever, the net is just it's so firm. So the problem with that is the eggs normally or well, not normally but they can just roll off from the sides or bounce off when you put them on so that is actually also why you put your lid on so the lid I just cut out and then I took a, a lighter and I just burned it so there's no sharp edges there around it while I cut it and then you just put it on here to keep your your stocking or your sock or whatever on like so and this will keep your eggs from rolling off the side or um, your eggs with legs or whatever. And then they can also not uh, fall in there. Then you put it in this tub. And then you put your, your eggs or eggs with legs or whatever on there. 
and then when you're done you can just close it up you can either draw a few small holes for ventilation or you can cut the whole lid out and put a piece of um, uh, I call it gas, gas on there but then I'm not done because after this I am putting this tub into that one okay you can't see but it's a lot bigger and the, the, the reason for that is um, nobody comes in my spider room but should somebody come in there or anybody can open the door leave the door open and the cats get in there and they knock this thing and they knock it over big problems because your eggs itself shouldn't get wet and as soon as this thing tips the water will go straight onto the eggs so I'm putting it in a bigger tub so if they do knock the bigger tub it will at least take some of that bump away okay so that is what we got and then your now these I'm just going to show you the ones in the egg sack So you just gently put it on there okay and then the problem you're having now is why do I keep zooming out am I retarded don't answer that okay so you see there's a few rotten eggs and whatever but you see there's a big like lump there and you don't want that because that is just going to cause problems later on so you just want to spread them out gently with a paintbrush. Um, if they touch it, uh, each other, it's not a big problem. But I mean, if there's enough space, just move them away properly, as like that. You see? Uh, oh, sorry, you don't see. Okay, now you see. Right here is the problem now that I'm having because I left it in the egg sack. They all start clumping together. Now, most of those are going to go rotten because you can't take them off each other. I mean, if you take a tweezer and you try and, and take them apart, <laughs> I mean, you're going to squish every single one of them. So, it's not going to work. You can even, your little um, tweezer, try and take them apart, but it's not going to work. You see how big the tweezer is compared to them. And you'll have to have quite a steady hand to try and get it separated. So, I'm just going to leave them and you see they, they roll as a whole big family so I'm just going to leave them and I'm going to hope for the best and then when you're done you put the lid on why do we do that? because we don't want any other bugs coming in here trying to eat it and we don't want any fruit flies going in there as soon as you got fruit flies in your incubator it starts to become a royal mess up and you don't want that and then yeah, that is basically it. Then you just wait until the eggs do its own thing, turn eggs of legs. Then first star, uh, first in star, and then second in star. And that is my tutorial on making an egg incubator. Well, a tarantula egg incubator. So yeah, anyway, I'll keep you updated with other videos. Tim is probably going to make another one or two. It seems his videos get the most response. And it's simply because... He does better videos, he's more experienced and he can actually speak English properly. So, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Bye.